Hey guys, um, welcome back. Today we're going to be covering an intermediate subject. We're going to be covering today how to make this amazing Mickey Mouse keychain. Now I put my own initials here just for demonstration's sake. You, of course, during the class time could put your own. So let's go on ahead and create this. Let's go on ahead and go back to our to go to our Tinkercad dashboard. Loading my dashboard up right now. Let me just spare you the wait by pausing this video right now. I'll replay it when it's done loading. Okay, so it's done loading. Now let's go ahead and create a new design. So the things that you'll be needing for this project are firstly, you're going to be needing um, the file itself. So the file itself will be um, will be what will be an outline of actually not Mickey Mouse himself, but actually his assistant. You know how in all the Mickey Mouse episodes he has an assistant that he says like, oh, uh, he, he says his like, Mickey Mouse says his rhyme and then the, his assistant comes and opens up his house and it looks, everything looks all pretty, right? So we're going to use the assistant outline because I couldn't find a uh, appropriate one, um, like a different, like the a, a outline of actually himself on the internet. Let's go ahead and point your browser towards this link https www.cdtrader.com free 3d, 3, free 3d print models games toys toys toodles mickey mouse friend toodles that's the name of his assistant i'm just going to leave it here for exactly five seconds starting now okay So when you come to the CG Trader website, you'll be seeing as you scroll down, you'll see this free download. So there's a license. It says so. I already reviewed this license. Don't worry. It's a it's um it's a Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike. Now if you look at your license handout, at Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike means that for any kind of use, commercial, non-commercial. As long, uh, even if you like change it around any way you want, as long as you give the owner and the maker appropriate, um, appropriate, I'd say like appropriate credits, say like a link to the original, uh, to the original 3D model, when you're redis when you're redistributing your model that you have modified from the original one that the maker made then that's okay. You just have to say this, uh, I took the original model from say this site, which is www.cgtrader.com, right? And then you put the whole URL down there so that everyone knows that it, you didn't create it from scratch. It was from someone else. So yeah, so go ahead and click free download. And we're going to, I already downloaded it. So let's go on ahead and go over to our files. I'm not going to let you see in my entire file structure. So okay. So here we see toodles.stl. This is what we want. So now we're going to learn an interesting feature in Tinkercad that will allow you to upload files. So let's go on ahead and select import. Choose a file. Okay, so I have just selected the files from my file system. Um, in your computer, it's different for every operating system. You're going to point to your browser. I'm oh, sorry, you're going to point Tinkercad toward your uh, the place where you sort it, the subdirectory where you sort it, and just go on ahead and select it. So toodles.stls, 0.17 megabytes. There's a top limit of 25 megabytes for Tinkercad, so this is well under it. Um, scale 100%, perfectly fine. Let's just go on ahead and click import. Okay, so we see it has finished uploading. So now we're going to set this model aside. Let's see, I'm going to make this back into full screen for you. Okay, we're going to set this aside. Just go ahead and make it smaller. Uh, I'm going to teach you shift. Well, if you hold down shift, click it down. Click down the handle and then resize it. It'll maintain its proportions. 
So then it will have the same shape as just scaled down. So let's go ahead, uh, move it right there. And again, if there's anything you don't understand, just refer to your handout. Um, commonly used terms. So let's. So we just set it aside. Now what we're gonna need for the base of the keychain is we're gonna need a cylinder. So drag. So go ahead, drag out from the Tinkercad basic shapes gallery from the side. We're gonna drag out this orange cylinder. Yeah, that's fine. Keep it orange. Of course, you can also change colors by going to solid. Click on this solid or whatever you have. If it's a hole, then you click on hole. But you can't really have a colorful hole, right? So go on ahead and select any of the colors that you want. Okay, so we have it here. So now remember, shift, hold down shift, and then select this handle, and then expand. Well, maybe you look for about seven... No, I'd say maybe 90. Go for 90. 90 by 90. Good. Now, this is, as you can see, is kind of too tall. So remember, it's like this extrude down button, and let's go down to about 5. Okay? So now this has a height of 5 and a length and width of 90 millimeters. You see 90 millimeters. Now what we're going to do, make this a whole object and drag it on to this, and we're going to group it all together so that we have the hole that we saw early. So let's go on ahead and take this, go over here to the inspector, click hole. Now you see it's a hole, right? Now we're going to drag it on, and you see, oh no, it's, you don't see it because it's not tall enough. So we're going to have to make it slightly taller. Shift your viewpoint to the side, bring it up a bit. Remember, it's, this is 5 millimeters tall, so maybe 7 millimeters is good enough. Let's go ahead and take it, go back for top viewpoint as necessary, and then you see it looks perfectly on top. So now, um, I'm going to teach you another thing, it's a line. So, go ahead and select everything, using this, right? So take your mouse and then drag, cross, it selects everything, and then go up to here, align, you can also press L. So click align, and then you'll immediately see all these dots pop up. Now what these dots mean is if you click this, then it aligns right in there. I'm going to control Z that because I don't want that. And it aligns center to to all to all to everything, right? So, uh, but we want to center in the middle. Okay, so that looks good. I'm just going to leave it at that right now. So now we can just go on ahead and group everything. You you should know how to do this by now. Control G or group in the top toolbar, and wait for it to load, and save. Okay, now we have a perfect hole of Mickey Mouse, or Toodles, rather. So now, what's next is we're going to put our initials, or our, our letters of our name in my case, nickname, my nickname in, case, in my case, and we're going to put it right underneath here and center it. So let's go ahead and go to text, and then select whichever text makes up your name. So, as in my case, that's going to be an A. Let's drag it anywhere on the work plane right for now, B and an E. Okay. Now we're going to try to align all of these things and then make them and make them slightly spaced apart the right distance, and then put them here. And also make them whole objects. Let's go ahead and select all of them, and we're going to use the align tool as before shown. Now we're going to click on the center. You see, they're all in line now. This is what we want, but don't select this because it's just going to put them all on top of each other. So now deselect that, and we're going to have to do a little bit of shifting individually. So just use your arrow keys, kind of eyeball it. I mean, that looks about pretty good to me, so I'm just going to go ahead and group all of them together. Okay, now we're going to make this a whole object. Okay, now it's a whole object. Now, how tall is this? Four. You see, that's not tall enough to appear above this and make a hole. So we're gonna have to put it upward. As be, uh, uh, actually, uh, it's a good time to mention this. For holes, it doesn't matter how tall it is, right? Because at, once you group everything together, it doesn't matter. It's not going to show. A hole is a, a hole is just basically empty space, right? So if you make it like, say, like even ten thousand millimeters tall, it doesn't matter once you group everything together because you're not going to see the extra nine nine thousand nine hundred and ninety five millimeters poking above because it's all empty space, right? So let's go ahead and um, move it here. Just kind of eyeball it for now, but let's go ahead and use our group, uh, our sorry, our line tool, 
and then use the same one, center it right in the middle. Okay, so now it's centered. Perfect. Let's go on ahead and group everything together. Now we'll start to see the kind of the final shape coming out. And now we see the final shape, right? Abe, and they have the toodles. You see, this is a perfect model that would be good for 3D printing. Because you have everything all in position, right? And then you have a nice fill on the side. It's just it's tall enough so that it won't take that long to print. However, I, I'm sorry, it's short enough so that it won't take too long to print. And yet it has a very a strong structural support. You see, like it has no overhangs or anything like that that would require support material. We'll talk about support material a bit later. Or, yeah, in class we'll talk about support materials. So, yeah. Now, we're missing one thing. Can you guys guess what it is? Yep, we missed our tiny little handle on the top for putting the string through if you want to hang it, say, from your backpack or something. So, now we're going to have to go back to basic shapes. Scroll down. You're going to want to look for tube. Go on ahead and drag out a tube object. And then place it roughly in the middle. Now we're going to do alignment of the entire thing. Go to align. And then once again go for center. Okay, good. Now as you see, it's kind of poking out. It doesn't look very fancy. And it's also poking out above like that. So we're going to have to make a few changes. Remember that this is 5 millimeters tall right here. So we're going to also move this down to 5 millimeters so it sits flush. Now you don't want it to go above five millimeters or under five millimeters because then it's going to be very easy for this part to break off. Think about it, if you tied a string to this and they accidentally yanked it the wrong way and there was an overhang and your elbow bumped it at the same time, it's gonna break off. So now it's still not that, that very stable. So we're going to make the radius and the walls, we're actually gonna make the wall thickness a bit wider. So go over to the inspector and we're going to see wall thickness right here. We're going to have to make this a bit bigger. Let's try five. Yep, that's pretty good. Now it's poking out, so that doesn't look very good. Now we're going to have to drag it out a bit. Use use your arrow keys for this. And uh, make it maybe a bit smaller. Hold down your shift key to make your proportions constant. Uh, yeah, 16 looks pretty, pretty good. Oh no, we lost the alignment. Let's go back to align. Center. And um, it's still not there. Okay, we're going to have to move it out a bit. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yep. All right. Ready to group it all together? Drum roll. And oops. Ha! It's not five millimeters tall, huh? Looks like I was wrong all this time. Uh, how tall is this actually? Oh, it is 5 millimeters. Hmm. Then maybe this isn't 5 millimeters. Oh, it's 4. Okay, that makes sense. I'm gonna make it back down to 5. You guys probably didn't make the same mistake as I did. Because <laughs> you guys are definitely more smart. Group it all together, and perfect! Alright, this concludes our demo for Mickey Mouse Keychain. And I'm going to change the title because I just noticed that it's Daring Crook in RE, and it's not Mickey Mouse Keychain. Apologies for that. I'm just going to say keychain intermediate. Mediate. I can spell. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Check back, and um, yeah.